everybody. Welcome to the children's moment. So I have a very important question to ask you guys. How many of you like pizza? I like pizza. My favorite kind of pizza is pepperoni. But in order to make pizza, you need some very specific items, right? You have to have the, the toppings, you have to have the sauce, but what's the one thing that you got to have to start with? You got to have the dough, right? You got to have the pizza dough. And in order to make pizza dough or bread, there are some very specific items that you have to put in it uh, for it to turn out right. And in our story today, I'm going to talk to you about bread. I'm going to talk to you about the parable of the leavened bread. Now, when you think about bread, you probably think about going to the grocery store and just getting loaf bread off the shelf or going to the bakery and getting hamburger buns or something like that. But back in biblical times, um, women got up really early in the morning to make bread for their families. And they would actually get the wheat and they would grind it down really finely to make flour. And they would take flour and then they would take water and they would mix it together. And then there was one more important ingredient that they had to put in it. They had to put yeast in there. The yeast is what would make the bread rise and grow bigger. And then they would cook the bread and they would share it with their families. So if they didn't add any of the correct parts um, of the ingredients, like if they didn't do the flour, they didn't do the water, and most importantly, if they didn't do the yeast, the bread wouldn't turn out right and they wouldn't be able to feed their families. So it was very important that when they made the bread, they followed all the instructions and they made it properly. And they tended to it, they kneaded the bread. Not kneaded like I need you, but like knead it. Um, like what you do to Play-Doh when you're making something, you, you squish it with your fingers, that's called kneading. So they would have to knead the dough just properly, put in all the right ingredients, and then they would get this beautiful loaf of bread that they would use to feed their families. Well, in our Christian lives, our faith is a lot like that. You can say that you have a strong faith, but if you don't do anything to build your faith, if you don't need your faith, and you don't add all the important in ingredients to your faith, your faith is not gonna grow. It's just gonna stay just like it is now. And so the things that we need to add in our faith, we need to add the love of Jesus. We need to add the love and forgiveness of others. We need to add being uh, as much like Jesus as we can be. All those things we need to add into our faith to make it grow. Because that's what we want to do, right? We want to build our faith so that it's so big that we can share it with other people. Just like when the wives and the mothers made the loaf of bread. They wanted it to rise so much that they could bake it and it would feed a lot of people. So, um... When you are growing your faith, you have to make sure you add all of those things, and you have to do that every day. You can't just feed your faith every now and then and expect it to grow. You have to do it every single day, right? And what are other things you can do? You can read your Bible, you can go to church, um, or you can watch me online. You can uh, watch Sunday School online, which just as a reminder, starting September, first weekend of September, we're going to have um, Sunday School online, so I'll send you more information about that. Um, you can share your love with others. Tell them Jesus loves you. So all of those things you can do, you can pull together to help your faith grow, just like um, the lady in the parable of the leaven, and she added all the things to make the bread grow, okay? All right, so if you go to BufordFirstUMC.org, you can see the whole Bible story about how she made the bread. And um, if you download the craft this week, um, it's going to be something different. So I want you guys to check that out. And as always, I would love it if you would film yourselves uh, telling the story and send it back to me so I can make sure that I'm doing my job and sharing the story right with you. Thank you guys so much. I miss you, and I can't wait to see you again. And um, I hope that you have a truly blessed day, okay? Are you all ready to pray? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your blessings and help me to share my faith just as they shared the leavened bread. Thank you for all that I have. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. Don't forget you guys, Jesus loves you and Miss Susan does too. Bye.